Hi, I'm Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about writing and saying money amounts. This is a dollar sign and this is a cent sign. So we use this to represent the number of dollars and we use this to represent the number of cents. We can also represent the number of cents without this but by using uh, decimal digits with the dollar. So this here, this is $1.25. And this is how you would read it, $1.25. We first write the dollar sign, then the number of dollars, then a decimal point, and then the number of cents. Here's another example. This is $42.37. And that's what I have written here, $42.37. Again, the dollar sign goes first, then the number of dollars, then the decimal point, and then the number of cents. If we have some dollars without any cents, we can write it either like this, so the dollar sign, the number one, a decimal point, and use zeros to represent the number of cents. So this is one dollar, or sometimes we drop those zeros and we just write one dollar like this. So these two are the same. Here's another example, $42 showing the two zeros for the cents, or $42 like this without showing the zeros. Those are both read $42. If we have an amount of money less than $1, we can write it either like this with a zero in the dollars place. So this would be $0.52, that's what I have here, $0.52. Or I can also just read this as 52 cents, which is what I have here. I don't have to say zero dollars, but this is 52 cents. I can also write 52 cents like this. So with the dollar sign and a zero in the dollars place, the decimal point and the number of cents, or if we're only talking about the number of cents and we don't want to show a zero in the dollars place, we can write it this way, 52 cents. When we write money amounts, we write the dollar sign first and then the number of dollars second. But when we say money amounts, we say the number of dollars first and then we say the word dollar or dollars after that first number. So this is one dollar and 22 cents. We say the word and for this decimal point. So one dollar and 22 cents. Or for the word one, we often say the word a, uh, so this would be a dollar and 22 cents. Or we could just say a dollar 22 and not say the word cents, and we could also just say 122. So these are just different ways of saying this number. For this number, for a longer number, we would, many people would say $212.22. Is not really correct but many people do say it. Many people put the word and between a number in the hundreds place and any number following. So many people would say $212. As I said that's not really correct but many say it. This and is correct. This and is for the decimal point. So without the first and it would be $212.22. So some people also say it this way. We could also say 212.86. For a number like this, with a zero in the tens place, we very often say O for that zero. It's not an O, it's a zero, but we very often do say O. So this could be read by many people as 202.86. This is a very common way of saying it. But of course, we could also say either of these two, which are the same as the first two I put up here. Or similar. $202.86. And, and as with the one above, this first and is not really correct, but many people do say it. Without that and, we would have $202.86. And this and in this position is correct. It's for the decimal point. So those are just different ways of saying money amounts. Oops. <laughs> That was supposed to be 86 cents and 86 cents. This piece of paper is called a bill. These are called coins. 
We usually only use the words bill and coin if we're talking about the physical object. If we're talking about the amount of money, we don't use those words. We would just talk about the amount. For example, I have one dollar, or I have fifty cents, or it costs thirty-seven dollars and twenty-two cents. So we do not use the words bill and coins unless we're talking about the actual object. Here are some examples of using and not using the words bill and coin. In example one, I have, Denise, do you have any money for the vending machine? Jim, I have five dollars. Denise, okay, great. Notice that Jim did not say I have a five dollar bill. He only says the amount of money, which is five dollars. Remember I said that the word bill is used when we're talking about the actual physical object, but he's talking about the quantity of money he has, the amount of money. Here's example two. Denise, do you have any money for the vending machine? Jim, I only have a five dollar bill. The machine only takes ones. We need to get change. Denise, okay, let's go. In this case, it is necessary for Jim to use the word bill. He's talking about the actual object, the item he's holding, it's a five dollar bill. But that will not work in this machine. He needs to have one dollar bills. So in this case, it was necessary for him to talk about the bill. He could have also said though, I just have a five, or I only have a five. To say I have a five means I have a five dollar bill. Or to say I have a ten or a twenty, it means a ten dollar bill or a twenty dollar bill. The machine only takes ones means that the machine only accepts one dollar bills. To get change means that he wants to exchange the bill that he does have, the five dollar bill, for smaller bills or even for coins. Here's example three. Denise, do you have any money for the vending machine? Jim, I have a dollar but the machine only takes coins. We need to get change. Denise, okay, let's go. So here, Jim did not use the word bill. He said, I just have a, a dollar. He could have said, I have a dollar bill, but it's really unnecessary. The word bill is understood. The machine only takes coins means that the machine only accepts coins. So Jim used the word coins because he was talking about the physical object. He could have also said, the machine only takes change. Then he goes on to say, we need to get change. That means he wants to exchange his dollar for coins. Notice when we use a phrase such as one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, etc. as an adjective, we do not add an S at the end. So I have a one dollar bill, I have a five dollar bill. I don't put an S on dollar here. I don't say a five dollars bill. We only put the S if we're talking about the number of dollars. So if I have five dollars, I do need to put an S here. If I say ten dollars, I need an S. But if I say a five dollar bill, a ten dollar bill, a twenty dollar bill, there is no S at the end of dollar. These words are being used as adjectives and we do not put an S at the end of our adjectives. So we would say a one dollar bill or one dollar five dollar bill or five dollars, a ten dollar bill or ten dollars, a twenty dollar bill or twenty dollars. Here are some examples where I'm using a noun other than the word bill here. A fifty dollar shirt, okay there's no S on dollar. The shirt costs fifty dollars. In this sentence though I do have an S on the word dollars because I'm talking about the number of dollars a one hundred dollar coat. There is no S at the end of dollar. The coat costs one hundred dollars and I need a hyphen right here between hundred and dollar. Thanks for watching. Bye.